Have you ever wanted to smell like a big, beautiful, fluffy marshmallow? There's a perfume for that. Well, hi there. Welcome to Angie Shows You How. My name's Angie, and today I'm going to show you how you can make your very own Delizia D Marshmallow by Cassie. So come on down, and I'll show you. All right, this first step here we're gonna take a little bit of water and some agar-agar seaweed, and we're gonna put it on boil. We're gonna let it boil. Now, some people like to use gelatin, um, but if you're concerned about your salvation and you wanna go to heaven, I would suggest you do not use the ground up cloven hooves of some demonic beast in your marshmallows. But if you wanna do that, that's none of my business. So you're gonna bring this to a boil and just let it stir. And while that's getting ready to boil, we're gonna do another step. Now over here, we got some cream tartar. And now we also have some aquafaba, which is the liquid that comes out of a can of chickpeas. And do half a cup of that. While that agar is boiling, we're gonna start whipping it. Make it nice and fluffy. It's all nice and fluffy. At this point, you're going to want to add your vanilla. The recipe says two teaspoons, but this for this recipe, you're going to want to do a little extra. So we're just going to put a whole lot in there. So at this point, we're going to turn back on the heat. We're going to add our water and our sugar, and we're going to bring this to a boil. You want to try to make it so none of, none of the sugar gets on the sides of it. Mix it all up. Give it a real good stir. All right. We got the mixture boiling. This is a good time to get out your candy thermometer. And we're waiting until 240 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, well, it's 240 degrees. So that's the temperature that we need. So we're gonna turn off the heat and we're gonna bring this over to our other mixture. And I'm gonna, if you have a second set of hands to help you, that's even better. And you're gonna very slowly incorporate this into your mixture. If you do it too fast, it'll burn. So you're just gonna about eight to ten minutes. So you're just gonna keep whipping this until it's nice and stiff and glossy, all right? Right, well look at that consistency. Looks real beautiful. That's what we want, the nice glossy color. Now for this recipe, we already added vanilla, but I'm gonna be honest, you really want this to be a super vanilla marshmallow. So we're gonna add a little vanilla paste, a little extra just because and we're gonna put it back in all right the next step is we're gonna get this ready to go into our perfumerator so you're just gonna take a scoop of this here come on over here and get a good look at this this beautiful vanilla marshmallow fluff we're gonna put it right you want about 3.4 ounces for one bottle it's all right if it's a little messy. And now come on over this way. Next final step is we're gonna put in our perfumerator. I know what you're thinking. She looks a little beat up, but trust me, she works just great. She works just as good as the day she was made. So we're gonna plug her in. Come on over and I'll show you. You're gonna take your vanilla fluff, marshmallow, and we're gonna put her in for about two hours. So let's change the dial and we're going to wait for two hours and we're going to come back and check on our product. All right. All right. Well, it's been about two hours, so let's check on her. We're going to open her up and we're going to see what's going on. And would you look at that? It's ready. Easy as pie. Delizia D. Marshmallow by Kaisi. Hey y'all, 
thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to be reviewing a very decadent perfume called Delizia D Marshmallow by Kaisi Perfumes. I almost didn't want to make this video um, because this is just one of those perfumes that is so good that I'm tempted to gatekeep it from other people and there seems to be a lot of gatekeeping in the fragrance community where people don't really want to say what they're wearing because they don't want it to become too mainstream or too popular and then it loses its specialness. But honestly, if there was to be a perfume that deserved to be successful and popular, it is this one. Vanilla is basically the basic bitch of the perfume world in terms of accords. She is fundamental, she's simple, and she is everywhere. And you know, there comes a day in everyone's life where sometimes you wake up and you just want to smell like the human embodiment of a cupcake. You want to smell like baked goods. You want to smell sexy. You want to smell fluffy. You want to smell like a marshmallow. We all need to have our basic bitch days and there's nothing wrong with that, okay? But not all vanillas are the same. Just because a note is common does not mean that every single vanilla is the same quality. I personally have had a really hard time finding a vanilla perfume that wasn't, it smells like a Yankee candle, like a vanilla, waxy, synthetic vanilla, or it goes into like, it smells like watered down uh, vanilla extract mixed with like rubbing alcohol. So like, I don't want to smell like either of those things, I just want to smell like vanilla. There are only three notes in this perfume. There's vanilla, sugar, and marshmallow, and that is exactly what you get. There's no, this is like sticking your head in a bag of marshmallows and huffing the air. This isn't an impression of vanilla, this is vanilla. And that is what I've been searching for. In terms of gourmands, if I'm gonna wear a gourmand, I want it to smell hyper-realistic, and this does. And can I just say that out of all the perfumes in my collection, this right here, this is the number one most complimented perfume. And say what you will about vanilla, yes, she is a basic bitch, but People love basic bitches. They smell good. One really memorable example that I can share of this is, this was like last winter, I think. I had sprayed a spray of this on my winter coat, and then I had went to, it was like 24 hours later, I went to physical therapy. So like a full day had passed between me spraying it and going out. And so I get to PT and I'm talking to my PT and his stomach starts growling and we kind of laugh about it. He's like, okay, you're gonna do your warm up. I'm gonna go grab a snack and I'll be right back. So I start doing my warm up on the bike and he he goes into a back room or something. And when he finally comes out, he's holding this just like bag of butterscotch candies, like those hard candies. And he, for like the rest of the appointment, it was just making me laugh because like I was on the floor, like doing my exercise and stuff. And he was just standing over me, like, eating the candies over and over for like the next like half hour that I was there. That's the effect that this perfume tends to have on people. Like this smells so realistic and sweet and cozy that it literally will trigger, it, it is mouth watering, it will trigger your hunger. If you wear perfume because you want to be complimented, you want to like garner a lot of positive attention and just wear something that is going to make people feel really, you know, sweet and cozy around you. I cannot recommend this enough. If you do want to try this and you haven't already, um, good luck getting a bottle of it because almost every single time that I've gone on the Kaizy website, it's like always out of stock. And that's why I was kind of like, I don't even know if I want to bring up this perfume in a video because I don't want this to like, I don't want to make the problem worse. I think Lucky Scent actually has samples of this if you're not wanting to commit to a full bottle. In terms of a score, I feel like I have to give this a 10 because this does not pretend to be anything it's not. You're not. This is very one-dimensional, yes, but that's all that you need sometimes. And I honestly see that as a positive because when something doesn't have a ton of like overwhelming notes, the fact that this is so simple means it pairs with so many things. Um, one of my favorite ways to layer this is with rose perfumes. Um, Flora Musk by Narcisco Rodriguez. I think that's what it's called. It's in the pink bottle. I'll, I'll put a... Um, I'll put a little picture right here. <laughs> um, that one, it's just the vanilla and the rose. It's like a, it's a really good mature kind of rose that just, it balances out the sweetness. Really good combo. Um, or honestly just by itself all the time. <laughs> okay, well I think I've said enough about it. Let's go see what Molly thinks about Delizia D Marshmallow.